we will solve question 64 of chapter 8 hc verma it is chapter on work and energy this is again a very useful problem what is given here is that there is a sphere which is moving horizontally with an ac acceleration a there is a particle which is released at the placed at the top and just released released means it is now free to move we have to find relationship for the velocity of the motion of the particle of the particle in with reference to angle theta let us take a point let us take a point theta at angle theta where the mass has come now what is the velocity and relationship between the velocity at this point and theta we can find out very easily only thing we need to keep in mind is that the particle it is moving in a circular path along the circumference of the sphere along the surface sorry not the circumference along the surface of the sphere and this sphere itself is moving with acceleration a so it is a case where a reference frame this is the reference frame because we are considering particle moving in this frame and this frame is moving with acceleration a so there will be a pseudo force m a in the direction which is opposite to the direction of the acceleration of the reference frame now it is all the components of m a in this direction and this direction this angle is theta so this is normal to this this is normal this angle is also theta it will be m a cos theta this will be m a sin theta and this is not the acceleration of the block a here is not the acceleration of the block but a is the acceleration of the sphere which is causing the pseudo force now see the downwards this is the weight mg resolve it also along the plane of motion and perpendicular to the plane of motion this angle is theta so this will be mg sin theta and this would be mg cos theta let the velocity be v at this point of time because of this velocity there will be a centrifugal force which will be mv square upon r at this point of time now equate the forces along the normal to the plane of motion there is no motion with respect to the sphere the point of contact is not broken so the m a sin theta plus m v square upon r is equal to m g cos theta so a sin theta plus v square upon r is equal to g cos theta velocity v is not constant this is the velocity given at this point of time what is the other thing which we have to take into consideration let the acceleration of particle be a dash the tangential acceleration be a dash now equate the forces along the plane of motion that is along a dash so it will be m a dash is equal to sum of these forces 
we are assuming that there is no friction it is smooth so the only force acting in the tangential plane is m a cos theta plus m g sin theta it is m a cos theta plus m g sin theta uh, it becomes a dash is equal to a cos theta plus g sin theta what is a dash a dash is equal to r alpha if alpha is the angular acceleration a dash is equal to r d omega upon dt or is equal to d v upon dt is the value of a dash so we get here dv upon dt you write dv upon d x into dx upon dt always replace dv upon dt like this and in this case x is a small distance along the arc dx dx would be the small distance along the arc will be r dx is r d theta so what we have to do here is replace dv upon dt by dv upon r d theta into r d theta upon dt dv upon dt should be changed like this in such problems it is advisable to make this small adjustment now what is r d theta upon dt is the velocity tangential velocity r d theta is the distance curve along the curve small distance dx or ds you can say ds also take it ds rather than using x as is better so this is ds upon dt is the velocity so it becomes v dv upon r d theta is equal to a cos theta plus g sin theta so integrate it take d theta there take d theta there and you will get v dv upon r is equal to a cos theta d theta plus g sin theta d theta integrate it and you get v square upon 2 r is equal to a sin theta theta varying from 0 to theta plus and this will be minus g cos theta theta varying from 0 to theta place the values of uh, theta here it becomes is equal to a sin theta minus g cos theta minus 1 so the relationship is g minus g cos theta plus a sin theta v square upon twice r v is equal to twice r bracket g 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta plus a sin theta under root this is the answer cos theta this is cos theta 1 minus cos theta plus a sin theta twice r is the answer that is the velocity at any point which makes an angle theta with the normal this is the starting point from there 
the particle was coming down and it is making an angle theta so in such problems always see take the plane of motion and find the forces along the plane of motion and perpendicular to the plane of motion and then write the equations and whenever you get an expression where dv upon dt is related to x or in this case it was theta always resolve it as dv upon ds ds upon dt ds in this case is r d theta try to obtain in terms of r d theta here in terms of theta or x the variable which is coming on this side change this relationship in that variable then it becomes easier and you can straight away integrate it so that is all on it thank you